Sorry. I'm sorry, sir, we're closing. But uh, didn't somebody just come in here? Nobody in here, unless you count the dummies. I'm just doing my rounds. Well, I have to. There's always somebody trying to hide in the chamber of horrors for a bet, then getting a bit scared and trying to smash their way out. Don't look now, but it's the invasion of the body snatchers. What are you doing here? Keeping an eye on you. And pop in here for a bit of peace and quiet, you know? Nice looking people who don't answer back. I saw Julia. I thought she came in here. Well, everything the coat, the walk. Oh dear, we seem to have the wrong side. Could I have the light on for a moment, please? Seem to be all right. I was in Venice last year. I can't imagine how that slide managed to get in here. Such a beautiful city, but with such a sense of evil. Oh. Please. Yes, now, perhaps we could have the lights off again. <laughs> Coyote Button is, of course, a member of the cactus family. The so-called magic mushrooms of Mexico are rather different and come from the extreme south of the country. But the peyote cults flourish in the northern Sierra Madre, particularly with the Yaqui Indians. And the hallucinatory effects induced by eating the cactus, often in fairly large quantities, will be familiar to those of you who have read the works of Carlos Castaneda. Clearly, the effects produced by hallucinatory drugs can be intensified when accompanied by psychologically induced states of receptivity. Voodoo ceremonies maximize psychologically the chemically induced states produced by hallucinogens. The milder hallucinogens probably operate entirely in this way, emphasizing whatever affective state already exists. Clearly, the combination of a stronger drug with an extreme emotional state such as manic exhilaration or even deep grief can produce the most disturbing and unbalancing effects of all. Reports of subjects who have been subjected to psychological stress so as to produce deprivation or heightened awareness and have then had this psychological imbalance supplemented by chemical means show that this produces the strongest manifestation of hallucination, synthesis, and even psychosis and schizophrenia. Dr. Anne Reynolds. Sir, please. I thought you'd like to meet Dr. Vashevsky personally. Tom Gray. Dr. Martindale tells me you have quite remarkable psychic powers. Well, sometimes I think it's more a case of recognizing one's talents than of there being anything special. Perhaps you and Anne would like to join me in my office for some coffee with Dr. Vashevsky. Uh, yes, thank you. 